everyone and welcome to Biggs' Home Cooking. I'm Biggs. Today I have a cottage ham and I'm going to do that out on the rotisserie. So just stick around and stay tuned for this one. Alright, let's get started. Okay guys, so what I got here is uh, my ham. It's uh, the muscle that they use to make tapakol out of. Or as us Northeasterners say, gabagool. But uh, this is, uh, I guess, something like a daisy ham or a cottage ham. I guess you could call it, I don't know. I'm gonna do this out on my uh, rotisserie. So let me get it on the spit, and then I'm just gonna season it up with a little bit of low sodium soy sauce. Being it's already been brined and cured. Okay, let's get this out on the uh, spit, and give this a shot. So I wanna get this right in the middle, as best as possible. It goes in pretty easy. I wanna make sure I come out the other end pretty centered, and that looks pretty good. Stick the prongs into the meat. All right, good. And then I'll put the other side on. All right, there you have it. Tighten the thumb screw. Now I'm just gonna give it a little shot of uh, them in low sodium soy sauce, all right? This is basically just to get some color going on the, uh, on the outside and make it look good when it's finished up. All right, so now that this is done, I'm gonna go out and uh, get the grill going, and then we'll throw this baby on, and we'll, uh, we'll start spinning it. Okay, just forgot one step, guys. Uh, I'm gonna monitor this cook with uh, my uh, thermometer called meter, all right? So uh, let me just place this into the roast itself. And if you see, it has a little line right here. All right, just want to make sure that this whole tip goes in past that point in order to get an accurate reading. I'm going to stick this in like so at that angle right here. There's the line. Okay, and then she goes. All right, so this is all set to go. Okay, guys, so uh, here's the unit I'm going to be cooking that ham on today. Uh, it's called a, a Miko or a Meko. Grill top grill with the window viewfinder and the rotisserie attachment. Inside, you have this uh, electric heat element that uh, heats up, and you can lay it horizontal or vertical. All right, depending on what you're cooking. Now, I just use this for uh, doing small rotisserie pieces of meat, and I just lined it with a little bit of uh, foil, help keep it clean. And I'm using this, uh, I forget what size that drip pan is, but this will catch all of my drippings and so forth. Let me just get this piece of meat and we'll put this on here, okay? okay so I got my piece of meat. I'm just going to uh, insert the end of this spit into the rotisserie motor. All right, and let's put this uh, groove here into this channel here and turn on the motor. And we got ourselves a nice slow spin. So over here is my uh, where I turn the power on. I'm gonna put it on one about there right now, and uh, I'm gonna check the temperature with my uh, meter. All right, and this will uh, this will give me the temperature on the internal of the meat, which I'm gonna cook to about 140, 145. And you know I want to cook this at a low rate, you know maybe two. 225, 250 at the most. So let me shut this down. I'll get this dialed in and we'll meet you back here when it's uh, basically almost done. All right. Bye bye. We'll see you in about an hour maybe. Bye. Okay guys, we're back out at the cooker. I set up my wife's phone with the uh, meter app so I could uh, get a longer distance of range. Here it is over here. Got about 13 minutes left. The internal temp is 112. I got it set for 140. I just turned the heat up a little bit and the temperature's climbing on the ambient temperature. Basically, it was running at about 2, 220, 225. All right, this is good. Let's take a look and see what we got in here. Oh, that baby's looking gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit more of the Kikoman, just pour a little bit over. Okay, so there's that. Let me get this closed up and uh, we'll finish this cook. Shouldn't, shouldn't be long. 
Okay guys, here we are. It's all done. Here's the temp on it. All right, we're at 142 right now. And the ambient temp was 219, you know, 220. So uh, let's see what it looks like. Looking real good and plump and juicy. All right, let me take this off and we'll meet you inside. Okay guys, so here's the, uh, the hand and uh, it was been resting and it got up to just about 150. I'm gonna pull the thermometer, put that aside, and uh, take this off the spit. Looking delicious. These things are just unbelievable, juicy. I know what they're all about. Okay, do a little zoom in on that baby. Oh, that thing is looking phenomenal. All right, let's get ready to slice this. Okay, here we are, guys. Let's uh, start slicing into this a bit. Let's see what we got. That is just unbelievable. Now, I'm gonna taste this right now, because I can't help myself. Mmm. That is so good. All right, let me just uh, slice some pieces up and meet at the table. This thing's unbelievable. The juice that's coming out of this, baby. All right, guys. See you out at the table. Hey, welcome everybody to Biggs' Home Cooking. We're down at the dinner table right now. As you can see, I cooked up a ham and uh, we got some string beans and a little couple pierogies. All right, so uh, let's check out this ham. I love me some ham. All right, guys, cheers and uh, thanks for stopping by. Tender as can be. Now, like I said, this is the uh, muscle that they make the capicola out of, and uh, it really makes for a great ham. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. All right, and again, thanks for stopping by. And remember, keep on looking at Biggs Home Cooking. Thanks, my friends, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Okay, guys, let's come in on this. Look at that juicy goodness. That is just so tender. Time to take a couple picks.